In the quest for muscle, many turn to the gym, lifting heavy and pushing beyond their limits. But what if I told you the secret to strength can be found in the simplicity of your body weight? The humble push-ups and exercise often overlooked could be your gateway to remarkable muscle growth. But the million dollar question remains, how many push-ups do you need to do each day actually to see growth? In this video, We'll explore the science behind muscle growth, the ideal daily push-up count for building muscle, different variations of push-ups for maximum muscle gain, and how to incorporate push-ups into your overall workout routine. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty, it's essential to have a basic understanding of the science behind muscle growth and push-ups. At the heart of muscle growth, or hypertrophy, is a biological process where muscle fibers experience microscopic tears during physical activity, such as performing push-ups. This might sound alarming, but it's a beneficial response triggered by the stress of exercise. When you do push-ups, your body's resistance against gravity creates enough strain to cause these micro tears in the muscle fibers of your chest, shoulders, triceps, and core. Following this damage, your body kicks into repair mode. In this natural therapeutic process, cells called satellite cells rush to the injured fibers, fusing to them and increasing the muscle's mass and cross-sectional area. This cycle of stress and recovery leads to muscle growth over time. Importantly, growth only occurs with proper nutrition and rest, as these factors provide the necessary building blocks and recovery time for muscles to repair and grow stronger. With their ability to target multiple muscle groups simultaneously, push-ups promote muscular endurance and contribute significantly to muscle hypertrophy, especially in the upper body. To optimize push-ups for muscle growth, focusing on the volume, total number of push-ups, and intensity, variations in speed, is crucial. Integrating variations of push-ups can further enhance muscle growth by targeting the muscles from different angles and challenging them beyond their usual capacity. Moreover, the progressive overload principle applies to push-ups as to weightlifting. This means gradually increasing the number of push-ups, introducing more challenging variations, or even adding external resistance, such as a weighted vest, can lead to continuous muscle growth. How many push-ups are too many? Identifying the threshold for excessive push-ups is crucial for preventing overuse injuries and ensuring steady progress in muscle building. The line between pushing your limits and overtraining can be thin and recognizing the signs you've crossed is essential. Common indicators of doing too many push-ups include persistent muscle soreness that does not recover with standard rest days, a noticeable decrease in push-up performance or overall strength, and symptoms of overtraining such as fatigue, irritability and difficulty sleeping. One key aspect to understand is that the body's capacity for push-ups and resistance exercise in general varies widely among individuals. Factors such as genetics, current fitness level, age and even nutrition play significant roles in determining how many push-ups one can do before hitting the point of diminishing returns where the risks outweigh the benefits. For someone new to fitness, a lower number of push-ups is likely their limit, while a seasoned athlete can handle a much higher volume without adverse effects. Moreover, the quality of push-ups performed is far more crucial than quantity. Prioritizing form and technique over sheer numbers ensures effective muscle engagement and minimizes the risk of injury. When the form starts to falter, it's a clear sign that you've reached or are nearing your limit for that session. Adapting your push-up routine to include rest days is also vital. These breaks allow muscles to repair and grow stronger. Ignoring the need for recovery can stall progress and increase the likelihood of overtraining symptoms. Instead of a daily high count, integrating push-ups with varied intensity throughout the week can offer the body adequate challenge for growth without overburdening it. As we navigate through the complexities of muscle building with push-ups, let's answer the million question, the ideal daily push-up count for building muscle. Determining the optimal number of push-ups each day for muscle growth is not a one-size-fits-all answer. It heavily depends on personal fitness levels, experience, and muscle building objectives. For someone just starting on their fitness journey, a foundation of 20, 30 push-ups a day is a solid starting point. This range allows newcomers to build endurance and strength without overstraining their muscles. 
As proficiency and strength increase, the daily count should gradually increase and attention should always be paid to maintaining proper form and technique to avoid injury and ensure maximum muscle engagement. For those with a base level of fitness and experience with push-ups, pushing the envelope towards 50, 100 push-ups a day can yield significant improvements in muscle size and strength. This can be broken down into daily sets to manage fatigue and maintain quality in each push-up. It's important to stress that these numbers are suggestive and should be adjusted based on individual capacity and response to the regimen. The muscle building process is as much about recovery as it is about the workout itself. So ensuring rest days are integrated into your push-up routine is crucial for allowing muscle repair and growth. Incorporating a variety of push-up variations can also play a critical role in continuously challenging the muscles and stimulating growth. Different muscle groups are engaged by altering hand placements and body angles, further promoting strength and size gains. Adding difficulty through variations prevents the plateau effect and keeps the workout engaging. Variations of push-ups for maximum muscle gain Diversifying your routine with various push-up variations is key to effectively capitalizing on the muscle building potential of push-ups. These different forms challenge the body in new ways and ensure that all areas of the chest, along with other supporting muscle groups, are engaged, fostering balanced muscle development and strength gains. Wide grip push-ups, for instance, require you to place your hands further apart than the standard push-up position. This variation emphasizes the outer chest muscles and shoulders, offering a broader range of muscle engagement. Diamond push-ups, where your hands form a diamond shape beneath your chest, focus intensely on the triceps and the inner chest muscles, providing a challenging but effective workout for those areas. Incline push-ups involve placing your hands on an elevated surface, such as a bench or step. This variation decreases the weight on your upper body, making it slightly more accessible than the standard push-up. It targets the lower chest muscles and can be a good starting point for beginners or those looking to focus on that specific muscle area. Conversely, decline push-ups, which involve elevating your feet, increase the challenge by adding more weight onto your upper body and shifting the focus to the upper chest and shoulders, intensifying the workout for these muscle groups. By incorporating these variations into your push-up routine, you not only prevent the monotony of repetitive exercise, but also push your muscles beyond their comfort zone, which is crucial for muscle growth and strength. How to effectively incorporate push-ups into your overall workout routine? Effectively blending push-ups into your broader exercise agenda is crucial for achieving comprehensive strength and muscle development. This multifaceted approach allows for the targeted benefits of push-ups to complement the results of other workouts, thus promoting a more balanced and robust physique. To seamlessly integrate push-ups into your routine, consider dedicating specific days to focus on upper body strength, with push-ups serving as a core component of these sessions. These days, push-ups can be performed in various sets and repetitions, potentially before engaging in weightlifting exercises to pre-exhaust the muscles, or after, as a burnout session to ensure maximum muscle fatigue. For a more dynamic workout experience, push-ups can be incorporated into circuit training. This involves alternating between different exercises with minimal rest, ensuring a high intensity workout that can enhance cardiovascular health while simultaneously building muscle. Incorporating push-up variations within each circuit can help target the chest muscles from multiple angles, encouraging balanced growth and reducing the risk of muscle imbalances. Additionally, push-ups can be strategically used as an effective warm-up to prepare the muscles and joints for more strenuous activity. Starting with a lower intensity variation, such as knee or incline push-ups, can help activate the chest, shoulders and triceps, ensuring they are adequately warmed up for heavier lifting. Conversely, ending a workout session with push-ups can serve as a cool-down, helping to flush out lactic acid buildup and reduce muscle soreness. Incorporating push-ups on rest or active recovery days can be beneficial for those focused on building endurance alongside strength. Performing a moderate number of push-ups on these days can maintain muscle engagement without overly taxing the body, aiding in recovery and muscle maintenance. 
Lastly, rest and recovery, the key to muscle building. In the quest to build muscle, the importance of rest and recovery cannot be overstated. While the correct number of push-ups and variations can stimulate muscle growth, it's during periods of rest that the real magic happens. Your muscles need time to repair the micro tears caused by intense workouts, a natural and necessary part of gaining muscle strength and size. With sufficient downtime, muscle recovery is maintained, and the risk of injury and burnout also increases significantly. Proper rest includes short-term recovery, which occurs immediately after your workout, and long-term recovery, which involves full rest days. Short-term recovery consists of cool-down periods and ensuring you replenish your body with adequate nutrition and hydration right after your push-up sessions. Long-term recovery requires integrating rest days into your fitness regimen, allowing your muscles a complete break from exercise. These breaks are crucial for overcoming plateaus in muscle gain and strength, as they prevent the overuse of muscle groups and ensure that you return to your workouts with renewed vigor. Additionally, quality sleep is a cornerstone of effective recovery. During sleep, growth hormone levels increase, facilitating muscle repair and growth. Aim for seven, nine hours of sleep per night to support your body's healing processes. Lastly, proper nutrition plays a vital role in recovery. Consuming a balanced diet rich in proteins, healthy fats, and carbohydrates helps fuel muscle repair and growth. Staying hydrated is equally important as water supports all bodily functions, including recovery. By prioritizing rest, sleep, and nutrition, you set the stage for optimal muscle building and a more robust, resilient body. In conclusion, the number of push-ups you should do daily for a bigger chest depends on your fitness level, goals, and consistency. Starting with a manageable number and gradually increasing your reps can lead to significant gains. Remember to focus on proper form, incorporate rest days, and combine push-ups with a balanced workout routine and diet for the best results. Stay dedicated, track your progress, and you'll see improvements over time. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more fitness tips.